So uh, four counts, Trump indicted on four counts, uh, conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, um, obstruction of an attempt to obstruct or an attempt to obstruct, uh, obstruct an uh, official proceeding and conspiracy against rights. Those are the four indictments brand new that we have found out from uh, Jack Smith and this special counsel. Let's talk with Congressman William Timmons about this. Congressman Timmons, welcome to the program. How are you this afternoon? Charlie, doing great. I hope you're doing well. And I, I don't think we're going to have any disagreement on this. These charges are absolute nonsense. Yeah. The DOJ, the FBI, the IRS have been weaponized by President Biden and his administration. And they are literally covering up his criminal actions as the vice president. And I, we're doing our best to expose it on the Oversight Committee, but we need time and we need to to show the American people the criminality, the bribery, the, the corruption associated with these actions. And we're only four months in, really, yeah. uh, and there's a lot more to come. How, but where is, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for some outrage from Washington because here's what we know so far. The uh, intelligence community interfered with the Steele dossier and the Clinton campaign in 2016 against Donald Trump. Fifty one intelligence agents signed off on a letter saying that Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation. They knew it wasn't. Now we've got this sweetheart deal against Hunter Biden. They're trying to cover up all of this, even saying that Joe Biden calling his son um, uh, during business meetings was just him being a good dad. Where's the outrage? Is it there in Washington? You're missing, you're missing the best one, which is that they only talked about the weather. Yeah, they talked about the weather. I, I just, I like, do, do you know how ridiculous it is that, that the impeachment manager, the member from New York, Goldman, is now saying that, yes, Joe Biden, then vice president, talked to Hunter Biden and to his business associates that were paying Hunter Biden to leverage Joe Biden's official position. Uh, but they only talked about, so originally they didn't talk at all. And now yeah. they only talked about the weather. They only talked about the weather. The American people are not stupid. They're not stupid. And at the end of the day, uh, this will have consequences and we're going to do everything we can to hold them accountable, both through uh, our subpoena power with the Oversight Committee and through impeachment proceedings, which are going to happen, and also um, through holding the DOJ and the FBI and the IRS accountable and the CIA accountable. The entire federal government has been weaponized against President Trump, and the entire federal government has been weaponized against the right. How do you and do that? That's where we are. How do you do that? It's, how do you how do you hold because state, Chuck Schumer said how do you, how do you, the intelligence community has got six ways to Sunday. Uh, of getting back at you. I mean, I, you do it through you do it through the appropriations process. You do it through the budget. You do it through um, exposing them. We have to expose them because you got to appreciate on Saturday when, by the way, there's not a single damn bureaucrat in Washington working, mm -hmm. and nobody cares about anything at the DOJ unless they have a trial that week. Uh, but somebody, somebody on Saturday said uh, Devin Archer, who was set to testify on Monday, was going to uh, – needed to report to prison on Monday. Yeah. On Monday. Yeah. And, and nobody's working on Saturday. That's not a thing. Like, there's not like a Saturday program at DOJ. If you have a trial, you're probably preparing for it. But if it's something that has nothing to do with anything, you're not there. They're bureaucrats. And so the fact that the DOJ sent something to Devin Archer saying that we need to report – to, to, to the federal judge in charge of it and a DOJ saying that he needed to report to prison on Monday. And of course, Chairman uh, Jim Jordan, Chairman Jamie Comer pushed back and said, this is the most insane thing we've ever heard. And they backed off. They said, oh, we didn't really mean that. Yeah. But like, listen, listen, when you've got career bureaucrats working on Saturday on something that has no timeline, you know, uh, the American people see through this. How, what are we supposed to do? All of us sitting at home, people are, that are listening to all of this, we're seeing all of these indictments. I mean, we're, we're looking at over 500 years in prison for Donald Trump. 500 years well, if he's indicted uh, and one, goes to prison on, on everything. Number one, I mean, he's, 
using his campaign contributions and his super PAC contributions to pay for his legal defenses. Contribute. I am. I'm giving him money. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I, I have legal issues that are absolutely absurd. I'm, I'm a, 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 a non-leadership member of Congress, and I spend thousands of dollars on legal uh, nonsense. Mm-hmm. He's spending millions of dollars on legal nonsense. So give the president money. Give Trump money. I mean, like, contribute to his legal defense because he is literally the only thing between the deep state and the American people. And, again, he loves to say it, and I I think it's 100 percent true. They are coming for us. He's the one in the way. Yeah. And, and absolutely. But, but what I was really talking about, I mean, but how are we supposed to feel right now? Are we supposed to feel like ultimately justice will actually be done? Or is this just going to be another case of, oh, my God, I can't believe that the Democrats got away with it again? So I've been working hard with the RNC, the NRCC, the uh, NRSC to make sure that we have the lawyers in place. Most people don't realize that the only place in South in the entire country that got us to an actual legal decision that was favorable was in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, in South Carolina, we stood up and we said federal judges can't change our election laws. And the Supreme Court ruled unanimously that a federal judge cannot change the election laws that were recently changed by the South Carolina legis- uh, legislature. So that's we're the only state that did that. Right. So we need to be ready because they're going to continue to do this nonsense in courts all over the country. And they're going to focus on swing states. They're going to focus on Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Nevada, Arizona. They're going to focus on states where they think they might lose. And that's what they did last time. And, you know, President Trump said stop the steal. And that's the sim- most simplistic version of it. But at the end of the day, it's very complicated because elected officials in the legislature can change election laws. Judges and bureaucrats cannot. And in those states, the deep state, I mean, literally, it's Eric Holder, Stacey Abrams, and a bunch of Obama acolytes. They used uh, unelected officials and judges to change election law. Right. And that's what happened. And that, that's what Stop the Steal means. It, it, it's a very complicated, nuanced legal issue, but like, that's what happened. And so we need to be ready. We need to make sure that our election laws are lock, locked up. We need to make sure that they're not able to uh, uh, abuse the system to create controversy over whether people believe the outcome of the election. Because at the end of the day, Biden's not getting elected. He can't finish his sentence. He, yeah. can't, he can't walk upstairs. He can't walk across the room. So, like, he's not going to get elected. And we need to be ready to make sure that our election laws are safe, that our elections, uh, our, our election integrity is legitimate. And that's what we're working on. Any, any of all of those people that you talk to every day, um, have they said what's going to happen if Donald Trump gets, uh, goes to court and gets found guilty? Um, I mean, look, he's going to be found guilty in New York. Uh, there's not a legitimate case there, but the people that they're going to – put on that jury or just not sure. real human. I mean, sure. uh, yeah. he's, he's guilty of whatever he's accused of. Uh, there'll be appeals. He will not be found guilty. So I mean, that, that's irrelevant. Um, so that doesn't really matter. Everything else, I mean, anything he's found guilty of will be up for appeal. I don't know if there'll be uh, another case that goes to trial. Obviously, there's a question about whether Georgia goes to trial. All of these are kangaroo courts. All of these are nonsense cases. There's, it, I'll just be straightforward. It's bullshit. They're yeah. all bullshit. Okay. Well, and there you go. So we need to have his back. We need to push through, and we need to make sure that we um, we right. not, we need to make sure that we understand that elections matter. And yes, a lot of people are going to say uh, election. You know, they've stolen elections. They've stolen elections left and right. And they're going to try to say, that, why are we going to vote? Uh, that's not true. Elections do matter. Every single legislature, except for Pennsylvania, has changed the election laws to increase election integrity. Uh, we need to hold our elected officials accountable at the state and the local level to make sure that we have the confidence in the outcome of the election. All it comes down to is the rules. And the Democrats cheated last time. They changed the rules. Sure. And we need yeah, to make sure that they can't change the rules again. And we make sure that we hold them accountable. And look. Vote. The, the American people don't want the guy that can't walk upstairs, the guy that can't finish a sentence, the guy that is 
guilty of being bribed by foreign nations to benefit his son. Like, he's not going to get reelected in a legitimate election. And so we have to make sure that the next election actually has parameters and rules that are enforced. And yeah. that's what I'm working on. We certainly hope uh, we can get all of that in order before the next election. Congressman Timmons, always a pleasure, sir. We will talk to you again soon. Thank you. Don't miss the Charlie James Show. Weekdays 3 to 7 on News Talk 98.9. WORD. The voice of the Carolinas.